prepare to get excited. It's part two of that Coney Marriott Scotland. My dad has lots to show you, so you better listen up. First of all, it's up to Livmo's room. Here is a control cabinet, which is not very exciting unless there's a Mr. Matt and Mr. Shay multicam synchronized video. Look, it goes like this. Do I really have to read all of this? Can't you? Keep an eye on the programmable logic controller, aka PLC. PLC has inputs and outputs, and each one is represented by an LED. A PLC without inputs and outputs would be as useless as an inflatable dartboard, as useless as installing a cat flap on a submarine, and as useless as a vacuum cleaner on the moon, presuming there was a power socket in the first place. Inputs feed information into a PLC. Outputs are used by the PLC to control something. I'm coming back to this, but right now, check this out. These are all the inputs and outputs that connect to and from this PLC. There are 16 inputs and 14 outputs. I've named them all so you can see what each one does and synchronize them exactly with the inputs and outputs of the PLC. Don't worry, it didn't take that long to do, only a month or so. If this is a bit quick, then later I'll slow down the footage to half speed for you. Check out inputs 3, 4 and 5 and outputs 3, 4 and 5. These are for the motor and levelling control and this is how they work. The magnetic tape between the floors adds or subtracts the lift's floor position. On the Marriott Scott lift, there is only one strip. The magnetic tape at the floor starts the doors opening, and when they overlap, that's the lift level with the floor, and the lift stops.
PLC is the controller and can be programmed to control anything, not just lifts. But it doesn't do anything unless it's programmed first. To feed information into a PLC, you must connect all the call buttons and position sensors to the inputs. To control something from the PLC, connect your motors and lamps to outputs. Outputs are programmed to control something. This could be as small as the lamps behind the call buttons or as big as the actual motors that move the lift up and down. When we are talking big voltages, that's where the PLC output has to drive something larger, like these contactors. A contactor here switches high voltage to the motors. Other outputs control these relays, which handle less current and generally have more switches inside them to do more things. There are also some timers, which are used to turn things off should the PLC malfunction and leave the motors running for too long. So here I'm talking about outputs. Outputs control something. Just as important are inputs. Inputs come from a device and feed information into the PLC so that it can make decisions based on how it's been programmed to work. Pressing a call button for example, registers a call within the PLC programming. But for the lift to move, the input that connects to all the landing doors must be active, so the PLC knows when all the doors are shut. When the lift is moving, the PLC relies on inputs, so it knows where to stop the lift level with the floor. Get the idea? Here is the half speed version, so you can see more clearly about how each input and output behaves.
Thank you.